If YouTube playlists are not your thing, you can find this course and more at poll.unfgames.com. It's easier to follow along and know where you left off. Now, let's start the video. Let's go now to the event graph. We, we now have the grasp of the construction script. And I already promised that we will clean this up. But let's go to the event graph. Here is where most of the functionality will exist. What do I mean with this is that here will be all the nodes that will trigger when something happens and all the logic that will happen when, well, something happens. So now let me close the find results and the compiler results for now. So I have more space in my, in my window. And let's create uh, the functionality to pick up this, uh, well, pick up. Now, we need a way to know if my character, let's press play, if my character goes near this pickup and whenever it overlaps with my collision, it sh something should happen right so for that we have a collision component let's go to my collision and here in the viewport i can select my collision component every component can have event dispatchers so we can find all the events that the component has and here we have for example on component hit on component begin overlap and overlap and many many more so what we need right now is just the begin overlap because i want to do something when my character begins overlapping let's press here in the plus sign and it creates a red node this is called an event and these events will be triggered by something something is calling them and they are the start of any execution uh, of the of any logic that will we will have here in this case my sphere collision if we just leave our our mouse inside um, it's already a class that exists in c plus plus and in c plus plus they are validating all the collision stuff so whenever we are over, overlapping this sphere, then something can happen, right? And we can test it. Print, let's print a hello, play. I'm gonna go near and it says hello. It says hello again and again and again. Perfect. Now, this is um like an event from a component but maybe i wanted to 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 function with any component if i wanted to do that maybe i could have another collision i don't know i'm gonna duplicate this with control w if i wanted a collision right here what I would need to do is here in the collision, I could add I could add a begin overlap and do the same stuff. Or I could also just right click here and every actor has a begin overlap. Actor begin overlap. And this just says that something has overlapped with this actor in general, with any of the components of this actor. And it only gives me which actor collided with. And that's all the only thing that I need for now. Let's not complicate stuff. So I'm going to delete my other sphere collision. And let's use event actor begin overlap. Let's connect it again with the hello. And let's press play. It says hello. Perfect. If I wanted to fake the the functionality of picking the the coin up 
I could, yes, drag and drop this static mesh coin, and I can set it to visible, to set visibility, new visibility, and change it. Or, but and but if I had another static mesh, then I would need to do exactly the same. Or I can do just set hidden in game let me type here set hidden in game set actor hidden in game let's put it like this and new hidden true this will hide all the components inside this actor let's press play and now whenever i collide with this it hides it it still has its collision but we can get around that by doing something similar like set actor collision set actor enable collision and let's put it to new actor enable collision false perfect play and now there is a collision and it gives me the the feeling that I already picked up the stuff. Excellent.